the Joe Rogan experience. At least then, though, you have life experiences to pull from. Yeah. You hear a lot of these people when they're like, you know, some people start in their teens and they turn out to be, you know, the best in the world, Dave Chappelle. Yeah. But other people start in their teens and I'm like, have some life first. What are you telling jokes about? Right. You know, yeah. like, I mean, like, I had, like, I had a whole career before I got into stand-up. How old were you when you started? Uh, I started in 2011, so I was uh, 26, 25, 26. What, what was your, you, you were saying your career, you were talking about? So I was, I, I started in finance. I used right. to work on Wall Street. I got a job at Bear Stearns. Um, so that's the, the Wolf of Wall Street. Yeah, that's, that's where the, Joe that's where Joe, um, Joe still trying to make it happen. Uh, <laughs> but I, uh, I started Bear Stearns in the summer of 2007, and then it collapsed in March of 2008. And then I stayed with J.P. Morgan for a couple years after that. But and I wore a suit every day. Whoa. I worked with like uh, mutual fountains and separately managed accounts. When do you think, when did you, when, when were you thinking about stand up? Were you thinking about it in the beginning? Well, so in March of 2008, a f- bunch of friends of mine, this is like before Bear collapsed, a bunch of friends of mine went to see a taping of SNL. I have always been such a huge fan that afterwards I was like, how do these people? do this like how do you get here and i googled them and they all started in improv so i started doing improv and i did that for a couple years and then and even at my first improv class i was like whatever i just want more of this Mm. like and then i eventually got into stand-up after that around 2011 but it was one of those things where i was very much like you know like a very type a get good grades get try to get the best grade in the class type of person and I didn't really develop opinions or a point of view. Mm. And so when I started doing improv, I was like, you know, like you make choices and you, you know, like, and then more I got into stand up, I was like, yeah, how do I feel about these things? Like, what do I think about them? And then like, really just like, I don't know. It's just, that's how I, that's really when I feel like I started becoming a person. Wow. I don't really think I had a personality before that. Yeah. I wonder if I would have been as curious if I wasn't a stand-up, if I, like how much of my curiosity is because I started getting curious about things because I wanted to be able to talk about different things. Yeah, like I, I'm definitely much more observational in the world than I used to be. But I'm also, I might be a little like darker too. Like I remember thinking when I was a kid, like I, I thought about what my wedding would look like as like a little girl. And now the idea of having a wedding seems <laughs> ridiculous. <laughs> Like the idea of me in like a big dress walking down an aisle, like there's none of that I could take seriously. But if you were going to get married, how would you do it? I would just go to City Hall. Really? Yeah. Wow. And then have a party or something? Maybe later. Maybe. I don't. I don't know. It seems hmm. weird. It seems weird to have a party right after because you're like, let's see if this is gonna stay. <laughs> <laughs> but if you're gonna get to the point where you're gonna have a legal contract with someone, especially you now, because you don't want a, that Roseanne Barr Tom Arnold type deal. You oh, don't want to no. pay some dude off. Yeah, no. Like imagine. Yeah, I things can't. start popping for you. You got some guy who kind of like comes with you on the road, becomes your tour manager. No way. Yeah. Well, that's the thing that would never happen to me though, because one of the things I find most attractive is a guy being really good at something. Oh. So and I He's really good at being your tour manager. Yeah, I mean <laughs> just the best tour manager. The best. <laughs> Always has the best hotel rooms waiting for you. Yeah, he's like there's like every time I go in it's set up the exact way green I want room it. Stocked with green jelly beans. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Got Fuck you, Tracy. Tracy Morgan. <laughs> yeah. I think well that's the case with most women. Most women I think like guys that are good at stuff. Yeah. Yeah. It's rarely it's, it's rare that you see like a yeah, I mean we want I don't know, a provider, yeah. someone who's well you want successful genes. Yeah. I and mean, that's really what it boils down to. Men like, want attractive genes, women want successful genes. Or they want well they also want attractive genes too. They want dominant genes like a big man, big tall man, yeah. good features, good yeah. symmetry. Yeah. Yeah, all those things are genetic. It's normal. Yeah, I've been working on this new joke about how women we like we're attracted to the exact thing that's the most dangerous to us. Like, we like those men, and so we make more dangerous men. Mm. Like, we could decide to just only mate with, like, short, soft-boned men and make, like, a whole generation of, like, killable 
killable dudes. Killable men. <laughs> and women would be like, yeah, we're the ones in power, but we're not, it's never going to happen. Yeah, but that would have to be a real conscious decision that's yeah. against evolutionary biology. It would have to be like, women have to be like, first of all, we'd have to get women to agree on something, which isn't yeah. going to happen. <laughs> no. But then also, like, yeah, you'd have to be like, no, this is the law. Like a reverse handmaids thing or something. Ooh, reverse handmaids. Yeah. Like we're going to outbreed all the Goliaths yeah. and all the gorillas, all the savages and barbarians. We're yeah. going to cut them off. Every once in a while, like a baby's born. It's like at the height, like height and weight is too high. And they're like, we've got to get rid of this to one. Flush them. Yeah. Hold them down. <laughs> hold them in the tub. Yeah. Oh, uh, that's not wise. Because China's not going to do that. China's not going to do They're that. They're going to use CRISPR and develop Hulk babies. We're going to need. We're going to need the the might. We're going to need the muscle. <sighs> dum dum dum. <laughs>